10 years ago, nobody wanted a Subaru. You probably just saw your average farmer in one. Now, anybody who likes driving wants one of these. This is the latest spec in Prezza, and I'm really looking forward to having a go in this. A Subaru in Prezza and a Mitsubishi Lancer are probably the closest thing you're gonna get on the road to a rally car. Purely because we use them in what they call Group N specification, which used to be known as showroom spec. So the four wheel drive, turbocharged, and then what we go and do is we put suspension on them that you can change. We put a, a gearbox in them that isn't like this standard, but to be fair, this is pretty good actually. This is, seems to be quite a close box, changed from the old Subaru that we used to call a bit like a chocolate box they just pull so well but if you wanted one on the road they are a little bit leery for my you know you're gonna get picked out by people and you're gonna get stared at well there's no point comparing fuel consumption because no matter how you if you drive it around like a bull in a china shop then it's gonna be always gonna be useless you drive it normally around town you're probably gonna get a reckon a good 23 but they have got the smallest tank in the world Handling feels really good. It feels a tiny bit tail happy, but that's because this car is quite light. So you tend to, when a car's lighter, it doesn't tend to understeer because the engine doesn't weigh it down as much. It's got to be said though, this car is good fun. It's pretty practical as well. You can fit four adults in it. Um, and those sort of things help you overlook the fact that it's still a bit tinny and Okay, they'll put a CD player in it, but the speakers aren't great. But that's not why you're buying Impreza, or, you know, that's not why anybody rallies one. I mean, they're just good fun. Mind you, I'd be biased and if I said that every time I drove Impreza, it had been great fun, because uh, I've only ever used it them twice on a rally. First time I retired in the middle of the Australian outback, with snakes everywhere, so I wasn't best pleased. And the second time, well, that would be my own fault hitting the wall, so you know what I mean, driver error. But this is a real good fun. Of course, it's good fun. The big man up there, he's gonna want the car back now. Not a chance. Just the temp, we're gonna give it back. All right. Cheers, Bill! 